I'm Marlene Muster. I'm a glaucoma doctor at Will's Eye Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. For me, refractory glaucoma means that the patient is getting worse. They're either not tolerating their medicine, the laser has not lowered the pressure well enough, and we are contemplating surgery. Normally, prior to this juncture, we switch medications and we stress compliance. But oftentimes, people are getting worse. Their visual fields are progressing. Their optic nerves are worse. They have hemorrhages on their optic nerve. Or very often, they'll complain about visual issues regarding their quality of life. They're having trouble mobilizing. They're having trouble seeing what's on their plate. And these are patients who are refractory in, at many levels, not only medication-wise, but often visually. And therefore, the goal is to stop the progression, and the way we do this is lowering the intraocular pressure. We tailor the, the surgery and the treatment paradigm depending on how severe they are. If they have moderate glaucoma but are getting worse, then we will often look for a MIGS procedure like we discussed today in the forum that often involves uh, surgery in the canal, it until recently in the suprachoroidal space, and we leave the superior conjunctiva treatment algorithms for a more refractory or a more severe uh, disease option. In those patients, we often go ahead and recommend either a Zen, which is a gel stent, or if they were included in the in-focus uh, treatment uh, study that is not yet FDA approved, that is either a gel stent or an IMS in-focus stent, but that is not yet FDA approved, and only the people who were included in the study were involved in this. Also, another thing I would recommend, if this gel stent is not sufficient in lowering the pressure, is either back to the future, a trabeculectomy or a tube shunt.